Now that I have all these idiots doing all the work, it's time to explore a little. Because I still need purple roots. But before doing anything, I need another expensive furnace. So I need to store some stuff uh, very neatly on the ground. Then I'm going to drop right there, that right there where it's conveniently in the way. And then we can start making glass out of sand, which means I need to go get sand. Which is found on this beautiful new island. All the while, we're forever fighting crabs. I also found a cactus that gave me um, a cactus flower. So we have one of those now too. And I will manually mine this because I need to get uh, experience somehow and mining is the quickest way that I know of to do that. The best part is I don't even remember why I need a glass anymore. That's what happens when you live on coffee. Your brain turns into marshmallows. And we're starting to produce lots of bars so I'm pretty happy about that. Uh, organizing stuff is getting a little bit difficult because anytime I need to pick something up I need to drop something and anytime I drop something I pick up a bunch more stuff that I probably don't want to pick up. But since I'm making lots of charcoal I can put that in here to keep that generator going because we have two electric furnaces that need the help. And there's our very first piece of glass and of course we can't really pick it up but i'm gonna take a half stack of the orange and blue to make more of a uh whatever the iron is and then we're going to drop I don't know the flower on the ground for now now we have glass right I was going to use that for the faster extractor increase your extractor's efficiency by 25% that way I can mine rocks ever faster okay I didn't realize this before but you can actually make transport arms to transport items between two islands so I'm going to get that then I'm going to get advanced production because that makes the furnaces smelt faster but it could also store a bit of stuff inside of it then since I can afford it and it's probably important we're also going to get farming that's normally pretty expensive but I've had my idiots working for a while that gave me a level up up, and that also distracted me enough to completely forget once again what I'm doing. Yes, I remember now. I realized there was another upgrade for only 20 bones. Because for some reason we've been collecting a lot of those over the past while. Now we have a suit armor. So my upgrade point, I think I'm going to take an extra bot slot for the bot antenna. Because the more bots I can have on one little island, the better. But I would like to set one up over here collecting uh, sand. Then have an arm bring it over here. We'll take it over to here to turn it into glass automatically. That way I don't have to use this like some idiot. Because I don't even have the faster extractor yet. They're taking their sweet time to get that thing made. The transporter arm luckily is pretty easy to build. So we're just going to put that stuff over there. Then the transporter arm is I guess yep going there so I can take stuff across. If you douse me again and I'm not on fire I'm donating you to City College. So now we just need a bot antenna somewhere here where it's hopefully out of the way of enemies and then I could put bots here to start mining and moving resources. I already have the collector bot so he's going to be here collecting the sand things delivering him to the uh, arm thing. I just hope he doesn't get bullied by these things too much. But over here, I think I also need a second bot that's going to take things in between things. I can't remember what it's called. Yeah, logistics bot. Give me one of those. Because I added an extra slot to uh, every one of my antennas, we're going to put a logistics bot here and he's going to help, you know, keep things flowing. Okay, so far that's really working well and that wasn't overly hard to do. So I'm very happy about that. We're now just automatically smelting glass. Pretty sure, yep, the faster extractor is done. I still wouldn't mind a bigger backpack though. But for now, I think we're going to reduce our jetpack cooldown because that helps me move around quicker and also because that's actually pretty cheap and I want to get a better upgrade in that spot. Maybe before committing too many resources though, we need to find out, uh... We can't afford anything else because we're poor. And we can also make the advanced furnace finally because we've unlocked it. So we're going to put that there. That's going to work very quickly, hopefully. We're going to have that making probably copper ingots for now. And the little bots are going to be very busy running over to uh, give this everything it needs. We should have lots of ore on the ground. Adding that second bot really made things move a lot quicker. Now I can just sit back and they're all doing everything they need to do. And I'm going to change the recipe on my little furnaces to modular uh, bricks again. We should be able to get those fairly quickly because I can mine rocks fairly quickly and we're going to have the orange bars being built in the big furnace anyways. Should probably build a logistical arm down there, huh? Not that I necessarily love that island, but there is enough resource down here thanks to this little guy that I should be moving it over. I just need another logistics bot and those are very quick and easy to make. While I'm at it, since I have the resources, I'm going to make a fighter bot. That's going to help protect my idiot on Sand Island. Uh, because the one over here might actually already be dead. So that's fine. So he's just going to go around murdering the wildlife, not unlike I would. So that really just fills my role nicely. For my next level up, I'm going to get building manual. Buildings now need half the amount of modular bricks and stones. That's not a big deal, but that's just getting annoying having to make so many of those stupid things. Okay, I didn't realize these guys were a one-way thing. 
So you gotta be sure to put them down the right way. Now I can have them delivering to there. And I've also made a billion of the modular bricks. So now I can finally make a farm plot, which is gonna go probably over here where I can largely ignore it. And I see my collector bot over here on Sand Island is actually dead. So let's see if my other robot is still alive. The warrior bot. Yep, he's still going strong. Oh, we can actually just bring him straight back to life. So that's kind of nice. Pretty sure that works in real life too. If something dies, just spray water on it. Okay, let's reduce our jetpack cooldown. That's gonna take a few minutes, but get us a new upgrade. Now for our farming plot, we're gonna make blood flowers because i don't know what they are so yeah i think we're gonna need another warrior bot down here too because that one's taking some damage and to be fair they're pretty cheap to build so that's a no problem at all and i just realized we're kind of not mining blue ore anymore so i'm gonna need someone gathering that uh then again i did also kind of forget i have an island up here that's probably got some ore sitting on it so i really just need a transporter up here look at the size of those nodes were they always this big or did they get bigger and i forgot about gold entirely again so let's make another the transporter arm going the right way now i just need these bots to deliver uh their stuff to the appropriate location which is here then if i want to manually del deliver some of this stuff i just gotta run through it like this bring it over there's a hundred orange ores the uh, collector bots We'll take those momentarily. There's 150 orange, another 50, another 5. And we'll be all caught up in no time at all. I've also got 11 glass already. But now that island's cleaned up and they'll just continually, uh, you know, bring this ore to where it's going. This is very satisfying. Okay, I just sacrificed a whole bunch of blue bars to continue making uh, steel because I need steel to unlock a new island. And we should be producing everything at a rapid rate now. Like, look at all the ores sitting on the ground still. So the furnaces are all slammed. But that's also never stopped me before. So we're going to make a new one of those. There's an achievement for 20 five buildings on an island this one's gonna get blue bars which will soon be uh completely swamped with materials because look at all the little bots go feeding them these two are gonna make what we need for the steel bars which are gonna be made in a third giant furnace that way we can make this process even quicker oh these can't make that Okay, never mind, I'm destroying this furnace. I'm gonna make a second electric furnace. That's gonna make more steel. Uh, I could probably also turn this furnace back off modular bricks because I have a billion of those now. Like I've got so much ore now, it's just piling up here in a massive way. There seems to be a problem here. I think I need more logistic spots on this side. They're not able to um, actually take stuff out. They don't have the time. They're so busy everywhere else. But I know that if I level up one more time, I can get a skill that I think should give you an extra slot. So I'm gonna use my super powered extractor to just mine a bunch of this stuff. Wondering where my bots have gone once again, they might have died. Nope, they're still out there running around and we did find a gold nugget as well. That's my favorite bot because he kills stuff. Shouldn't take too long at this rate to get me the level up. Everything I uh, destroyed gives me just a little experience and that's enough for me. Kind of also forgot I was upgrading my jetpack. I also didn't know I could walk into this building. So hello, new person. Give me good stuff. Connect a bot to yourself. Okay, a personal bot link. I'm not really sure what that does. They want me to fill out the museum for them, basically. Okay, I probably have at least some of these things. You can have rocks if you want rocks. I should finish out a whole row that might get me an upgrade of some kind. But also, this is what I want. Bigger inventory too. I need bacon. I don't know where to find bacon. But before I get too much more sidetracked, what I need to do is probably go get some... I don't know what that sound was. Oh yeah, that was my oxygen running low. That's pretty important too. Just about got what I need for the level up. Plus, I also got the sand I need for uh, the museum collection. So, for the new skills, extra bot uh, link on the bot pod thing. And conveniently, I already had a logistics bot made because I was stupid earlier and built the wrong bot we're gonna go ahead and place this on here and he's gonna help organize this mess uh having a backlog of ore is not a bad thing though either uh we're gonna collect all the gold we have that might be enough for the museum yeah they only wanted five so i got the sand now i just need five of those ores but i was right if you finish an entire group you might get some kind of reward and it looks like the bacon is under production so i need five uh that can stay there for now five five and then i need stones again okay that's going to be that one i don't want to talk to you every time i have to do this and there we go that's better he's happy give me a reward did i bring anything new do you ever maybe walk outside i did get a nice health upgrade so advanced production is where i get to make the bacon so i need lots of iron bars steel bars so because i do need more of those i'm going to make yet another electric furnace which we don't have enough power for but this is also going to make steel bars and then we'll make another generator which luckily isn't that expensive to build right now i do need to get it some coal but i'm pretty sure there should be a massive coal around somewhere uh okay apparently there isn't that's really not a big deal though either because the bots will fill that in in no time i'm also going to make another storage area uh just because there's so much stuff that i just really want to start putting in some of these extra things so we got plenty of steel on the way that's fine so i'm just gonna sit back and wait for a little while while everything tries to keep up with itself 
I do have to clear this maybe once in a while, but that's fine because they're mining so much up here that uh, it's really not a challenge. Still don't really know what gold is for, but I'm going to collect it absolutely everywhere I can. I think my favorite part of all this is this is still just the beta. I'm pretty sure this game is going to get a lot bigger. Uh, I just realized I could use just a little bit of glass to get a solar panel, which uh, why wouldn't we? They're fairly easy to build and they take no fuel. They just eat sunshine. That's a really ugly spot to put that in. I absolutely love that. Should we build a few of them? They're not that expensive. I might as well. Then we can have lots of power for uh, whatever we want. Apparently they're not super efficient, but they do give lots of power. So I could even build another uh, electric furnace, which I think we will because I'm greedy like that. So we're going to build steel out of that too. And then everything is pushing towards making steel. And I just sit back and wait. You're right. I did earn a coffee. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. It's probably still day 24, but I have tons of steel suddenly. So the first thing I'm going to do is get a better energy shield not because i want a better shield mostly because i just want uh more upgrades what we can do with all this steel is buy this island steel island uh then while i'm at it looking at this i'm gonna get explorer needs because that only takes a bit of glass uh glass is easy for me right now so oxygen bottle and i did also level up but i'm gonna wait to see what it is we actually uh get before we make our next move because i don't know what we need we have new mushrooms here so that's something. These appear to just be trees, but I'm going to break them anyway, because that's just kind of what I do. There's also floating jellyfish, uh, and this seems to be an oxygen plant. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and see what these are made out of. They don't seem to be too dangerous. And they're made of bones. Oh no! Anyway! But I do know that one guy said that there was a secret on a swampy island under a tree or bush. Uh, I don't know if this is it or not. This kind of seems like a strange island, because there's really not much of anything here. So I'm not really sure. There's probably something to this island I'm just not getting because I'm stupid. Oxygen was running low over there anyway, so I'm going to store those right there because they're clearly very important. And then we're just going to continue building everything ever, which still basically just means uh, this guy to make bacon. But we can track the milestone right up here. We're still running short on blue ore apparently, so I don't know why this thing isn't being unloaded very often. Maybe the logistic bots don't actually do that. I'm maybe going to take this bot because this one gets oxygen. I can do an oxygen one in the upper right. So I'm going to try just going three logistic bots one collector here correction that's going to be uh four collector bots because i think i just need someone that's able to collect these better i don't know why they they're not doing it yet but that's probably fine then i just need a bot antenna here because they can take the oxygen from here because it's a very oxygenated place the hardest part right now is actually collecting a blue bar before the bots get it they're all quickly turning them into steel which is good but i do need a single bar just to be able to um actually build some stuff Okay, finally got uh, that done. So we just need a simple collector bot here. He's going to collect oxygen and he's going to bring that oxygen to here. So the oxygen is going to come over here so we can leave the oxygen on our own island alone and the collector bot can uh, worry about other things. And then while I'm at it, I'm going to make another transporter arm going here just so that this bot can hopefully stop being stupid and start filling out this one as well. One way or another, we'll get everything over here. So I know I have a better energy shield. I still haven't really been damaged by anything, but that's good to have. But I still mostly need bacon. And apparently I've now produced over 50 steel in total, so that's pretty good because steel is not super easy to make. Okay, I realize I need to uh, designate which one of these uh, bots takes to which. So this one's going to be orange, the one on the left is going to be blue. Once they get this uh, sorted out, they will start doing this properly. I just realized since my farming upgrade, if I circle something like that, I can actually, yeah, remove bushes. So normally I would take that berry bush with me, but there's a patch underneath this one. It's a secret. But if I wanted to bring uh, another berry bush back, all I have to do is laser it and circle it and then it's mine okay going back to this guy who told me about the hatch and he wants six nutritious eggs i have three in my storage and i don't entirely remember how to get them so i'm just going to kill things i have an upgraded rifle anyway so that shouldn't be too bad and my little bot's going to help me out and my little bot already died but i'm not very upset about that give me your eggs did i have to kill their base yeah there they are Okay, you just gotta wiggle the base a little bit. We'll resurrect this bot. He'll probably deal with this mess. If he doesn't, then I don't really care. Okay, stupid, I got your dangerous eggs. Oh, and he literally had the key the entire time. He also wants a cactus flower. I might bring him that because I feel like he's progressing things nicely for me. It's very easy to get sidetracked in this. There's a million different things I want to be doing, but for now, we're going down the hatch. It's like lost. What is this? This apparently doesn't really do anything. I don't know if I want to go down here. Yeah, yes, I do. 
Uh, I think I found a boss fight. Well, now I'm kind of glad I got all that extra armor. I probably could have upgraded my gun a little more, but I, for some reason, didn't really ever think I'd need a gun more than I do now. I'm mostly fighting bumblebees, to be fair. Uh, so far, this isn't overly challenging. It might get worse, but I can, yeah, there's something new. I can mostly just wander around in, ow, shoot it. I put very little at all into combat this entire time, so I'm not really super suitable for fighting large things. Ooh, what are you made? Oh, I can't harvest them. I want to harvest your children. I can see this just getting really annoying, but the reward for this has got to be something good, right? I'm probably actually going to die here, but I'm going to come back better suited because I didn't expect there to be a boss fight. Uh, and apparently I also need oxygen down here, which kind of makes sense in hindsight. I forgot that was a thing, really, because my oxygen bots are so good on the surface. All right, well, you know what? Let's just go ahead and get this over with and I'll be back for you guys soon. Not actually sure if there's a penalty for dying either, now that I think about it. Anyways, before dealing with the boss again, let's get our um, bacon producer. And we've made so much steel, we can actually build one of these right away. So we're going to put it um, conveniently over here here where it's nice and in the way. Now to make bacon we need mushrooms. So I'm gonna make another harvester bot. I just need one of the infamously rare blue bars which I think is about to appear in this slot. So give me these three. And then we make our harvester bot. Uh, we're gonna put that on us. Then that's going on this swamp island and that's gonna deliver to... I'm gonna make its own separate arm for that actually. It's just like that. That way it's gonna bring all the mushrooms we need in and I'll probably have to manually unload them but that's fine. Uh, there is a potential lubricant. I don't know if it also makes lubricants or needs lubricants but we'll deal with that when the time comes. And then Dummy said he wanted a cactus flower, so that's as easy as picking that thing up. So three islands have ancient creatures that guard them and they're not easy to deal with. Okay, I can uh, kill it if I want, or I can uh, use a seed to grow a blood flower, which is what I've been trying to grow for a while. I just didn't realize I couldn't. No, I think I can. I'm still going to kill it anyway, but I'm going to also have a blood blower. So I want both of these. I just need plastic for a better rifle recharge and then inventory slots. Just waiting on the bacon as always. But uh, these are helping me bring stuff across. He's not really quick at mining mushrooms, but there might not be a ton over here to mine. And we're still a long ways away from nuclear tech. Okay, I'm finally ready to use an upgrade. Uh, we're going to gather industrial refineries working 25% faster, which is huge. Uh, before doing that, we're going to have electric furnaces also working faster. I didn't realize I didn't already have that and I can also have assemblers work faster but I don't want that right now. And uh, my first piece of bacon, which is otherwise known as plastic. Now all I need on top of that are some twigs. Okay, now we're gonna build a backpack with more inventory slots. That's actually really, really big. And I need more of these eggs and berries to build med kits, which I'm finally gonna need for the boss. And I can use oxygen bottles to replenish my oxygen if and when I'm fighting a boss. So we're maybe gonna make a few of these. We're gonna sacrifice some glass to do this, but uh, at least they stack. I probably just take five of these for now, just in case. I mean, if it's ultimately a waste of resources, all I have to do is sit and wait for more. The resources all harvest themselves. Now, as we're getting more of these eggs, these guys get pretty mad when I shoot their stuff. But they also spit out the eggs pretty quickly, so, you know, that's fine. I'm just doing a little damage. I'll probably repair right through this. If they not, I'll just build an army of murder bots to take care of them. I can't remember how many I needed, like, per uh, thing, so I'll maybe leave them alone once in a while to go harvest some berries when I can, uh, even though the berries are mostly being eaten by these idiots already. I can actually yeah i'm just gonna bring the berry bushes home with me because uh that just makes a lot of sense the uh the bees don't need berries anyways they'll be fine without them yeah i'm also making some farming plots because they're very easy to build these are going to be uh my berry bushes so those are going to grow me berries that i need for my first aid kits or something i have berry bushes here but the pigs kind of keep eating all my berries uh and i need the pigs to stay alive for their poop also so we got to kind of balance that out and i didn't really realize that if i shoot their hives to death they actually drop a ton of berries oh my bot died again so there's some more berries so when i want berries i just got to come and kill all of these they're not particularly dangerous as long as I keep moving in a circle. They can't really hit me. And I've got enough now that I can make a few med kits as well. So those are going to come in handy for particular boss fights. And I can't hold very many of them at a time. Uh, and that's probably fine. You go in there. You go in there. I like how you can do this too. This is a very nice touch. And there's my bigger backpack. I really needed that. Okay, next we're going to take the bacon out of the bacon machine. Then I'm going to use that here on Idiot to increase my rifle's recharge time. While I'm waiting for that to be done, I'm going to unload my things that the robots don't seem to want to touch still. Not that we have a shortage of ore uh, on any capacity at all. Anytime I want something, I just go to one of my arms. My little mushroom finding robot doesn't seem to be finding any mushrooms, and I'm not sure if he has to compete with the jellyfish to get them or what the deal is. Maybe they're just very slow to grow. Apparently we don't have enough power for this suddenly, which is strange because we did a minute ago, so I think we're going to make more solar panels because I probably have lots of this stuff. And you know me, I'm all about saving that environment and definitely not destroying it. I think just another few of these will probably work fine. I'm going to lay them out in very careful order, that way being very efficient. 
that shit about, do it. Give me the bacon. And also, there's my better rifle. All right, now that I have a better rifle and also some oxygen and med kits, I think it's time to try this again. Especially now that I understand kind of how this goes. So already we have 100 health down. There's almost 200 health down. Yeah, this is going to go much better this time. I just need to keep firing on this thing at all times because it will heal and block my damage sometimes. But, you know, this is going much better already. There is one third of its health instead. Last time we had taken off like none of its health. So this time we have it down to about half health before it laid any of its stupid eggs. I need to keep an eye on my HP. The reward for doing this better be good. But the only reason I'm not killing the little guys is I'm just impatient. It would be helpful though because they're just getting in the way of bullets. But that thing is down to less than half health. Uh, oxygen is getting low so we can go like... How do I use this? Okay, I used one. Uh-oh. Don't worry, this will all get a little smoother once I kind of realize how to use everything. Okay, we took some damage there. We don't want to take any more. I'm kind of tough, but not overly. The worst part of this battle is just the little guys getting in the way with their bullets. If it wasn't for that, this would have been over minutes ago. But it's down to its last 300 health or so, so if I can manage to get some clean hits, never mind. I think it's about to break out of its little tomb no pretty quick. My oxygen's getting low again, but not that low. I need to worry. Killed a lot of the little ones while I was waiting. Okay, I did have the top of my oxygen because the alarm sensor was mostly just really annoying me. This thing regenerated so much health I did not realize. It was almost dead and then it put all that health back. So we're just going to really focus on getting it. Even if I have to take a bunch of damage doing this. Okay, we're going straight into it now. Ow. 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 That was a lot of damage. I still haven't properly used a med kit yet either, but uh, I don't really care. Every time it gets close to dying, it just does that. So that's not super fun. And I don't know if there's anything I can do about that. Having the gun recharge faster certainly does make a nice difference. Oxygen's getting low again. So basically when it comes out of its little shell, I just need to really focus on killing it. Focus, because it has even more health than it did last time now. But we also have less uh, little ones are very weak right now, so I should be able to tear through them. Then get the damage where it matters on Big Boy. Maybe I could just trap myself in there. If it makes another ring, I'm gonna... Oh, <laughs> it locked me out. It was down to 100 health though. We were so close that time. Okay, this time as it's uh, recharging, I'm just gonna work really hard to eliminate the little guys. Just gonna focus all my fire directly on them. Then they'll be completely out of the way for when Big Boy comes out of its shell. Okay, I'm ready. Get out here. Oh, I could be mining the rocks when it does that. I didn't know that. Okay, this changes everything. But also so does the fact that there's very little... Oh, I can also destroy those. Yeah, I should be right-clicking a lot more. I'd be uh, way further ahead if I knew that. In hindsight, I feel really stupid for being blocked by rocks because that's pretty much all I've been mining this entire game. But now this thing is doomed. It's down to 200 health and it can't escape me now. There's its last health and it's dead. A treasure chest? I love those. And I also got Behematium. Behematium? Can I have your body? new skins. Oh, a pocket monster. I think that's part of the uh, ranching thing. So if you don't need me for anything further, I'll just be on my way. Um, oh, that's where you lay the thing to skip the boss. Got it. Next time, we're going to go even further with upgrades. There's still a lot to do.